Hi, want to try the latest Windows 8, but don't want to shell a half a gram for a new tablet? Well, it's lucky day for you. We will be talking how to run Windows 8 on the usual Android tablet, like Samsung Galaxy Tab we have here, for example. Okay, so let's talk a bit about Windows 8, and I will show how to set up everything later. So, as you can see, we are running Windows 8 Professional Edition. I am running Windows on normal PC, but I can use all Windows 8 multi-touch functions. And even more cool that we can run Android features on Windows. So, let's try one. So, we have a keyboard. So, you can see this is a standard Android keyboard. And let's try standard Google Voice input. Photoshop. How cool is that? Yeah, it's a bit harder to to show everything and, and film it on camera, but let's try it anyway. So yeah, you can see we are running uh, full-featured Photoshop on the Android tablet with Windows 8. Okay, we don't want to save it. Let's try another feature, maybe notes. We can draw on the notes too, but we can use Windows keyboard. Uh, so. Load video. No, that's not interesting. Let's select Android keyboard and voice input. Upload my video to YouTube. Okay, upload my video to YouTube. Okay, let's check Windows Explorer. So, one tap to select folders and double tap to open. And yeah, so. Everything works pretty nice. And the cool feature that the UI is optimized for for touch interface so it's not necessary to be very precise like with older Windows versions. You just click and you Windows knows what you wanted to click and it selects it. Though the only problem on this Galaxy tab that it has uh, quite small resolution screen so it's only HD 128 720 and that's not enough to run Windows 8 apps we will edit the device resolution so this is was the native Android tablet resolution and we will select 128 by 124 and that will be enough to run Windows 8 apps. Okay, so let's connect. That's me logging in, and we have now a bigger resolution. And now we can run Windows apps. So let's check Windows 8 Store. Since it's bigger resolution, we can't see all the content. We have to scroll the screen. Not very comfortable, but it works. Let's talk a bit about controls. Swipe from the right gives you a quick menu and a shortcut to start menu. And swipe from the left lets you swipe through all open applications. And even better, swipe a bit and return. And it will show you all open programs. And to close that program, you just swipe from the from the top to the bottom. Yeah. Let's return. And maybe Xbox Smart Glass.
so I fired up my Xbox and as you can see the tablet shows that currently we are on the Xbox dashboard and we can select remote control it works as a huge touchpad let's swipe up and you can see we can select anything we want by swiping let's try the Internet Explorer so yeah it shows we are running Windows in Internet Explorer and still the same thing here two fingers to scroll pinch to zoom so yeah a normal normal touch browser on your TV and even better we can we can use keyboard so let's try and again swipe from the right hand here we have start menu, desktop okay so I promise to show how to set everything up we will need a Windows 8 PC and iPod or Android tablet and this remote desktop client you can download a free trial I don't know if every, everything works with the trial so so I don't know maybe it's time limited or something so yeah open this program and first you will need to uh, to change some PC settings go with mouse to the right click settings and click PC info so then you will get the screen and click remote settings and click allow remote connection to this computer and check allow connection ta -ta -ta, and click OK so when the computer is set up you can add server ok let's look at the server we have set it up so here is your computer IP address uh, your login username and your password uh, select the device to screen press connect and that's it and I will show how to get your computer IP so you will need to go to the start and just type uh, cmd that will give you a command prompt and type IP config ok let's see if you haven't seen my info and the IP you are looking for is called IPv4 address so take a note type it in your connect settings and that is pretty much about it